my name is William LeBans and I'm the real estate broker of Sandlands Realty. Today I'm going to go over using Transaction Desk to draft documents and then send the documents out to a buyer to have them sign it electronically. So we'll be using Transaction Desk and Transaction Desk AuthentiSign, their eSign client that they have. So first things first is we need to um, open up the MLS, go right over to the property that we are going to make an offer on. In this case, here um, we can see that there is a paper clip and that paper clip shows that there are attachments and the first step is to download any attachments that we need signed. We can see this is a lead based paint so we know we're going to need to get that signed so we're going to go ahead and download that so that we can get it signed. There we go. Great. So the next step is to start a file within the transaction desk and to do so we'll hit this TD button transaction desk and it'll take about 10 or 15 seconds or so and Transaction Desk is then going to start a file for this property here. We're going to to use the wizard that they have with this so that we can, it'll take us step by step and ensure that we have all the information that we need. So first things first is we need to name the file. We prefer to name it with the address. And you'll see it automatically loaded that so that's good just like that. The template, we're making uh, an offer on a property so we need the purchase documents and import the information. We want to pull that right from the MLS and you'll see the MLS number there. Again, automatically loaded. We didn't have to do anything there. It's going to add me as the selling agent and then we're going to continue to use the balance of the wizard to finish off everything that we need for it. Select Create. And this will take just a few moments or so as it begins to put it, pull all the information together for us. It is going back over to the MLS and pulling some more information for us. And um, it'll take the eh, same thing about maybe 10 seconds or so for it to be able to go ahead and load everything. If it's taken longer than 30 seconds, you likely have some sort of an error or, or a problem. Um, but it really shouldn't take very long at all. So here we are. This is the first step. This is our details page and on our detail page again it is going to pull everything right from the MLS so we want to just take a quick look at everything make sure everything looks correct and it looks good to me so I'm going to go ahead and select next these are our transaction dates now at this moment right now this page here isn't all that important uh, we don't need to come in here and make any changes it did pull the list date from the MLS which is fine we can go ahead and leave it just the way that it is so go ahead and select next this is our contact step and this is probably the most important step of all of it. The, what we need to do is we need to ensure that the buyers, sellers, and realtors are all involved and on this page here. And you can see the listing broker, Charles Ruttenberg Realty. The seller is here. The listing agent is here. The selling broker. Uh, and then the selling agent, myself here. So we, what you notice is not here because it, there's no way for it to automatically feed it would be the buyers. So we need to make sure that we can go ahead and add in the buyers. Select Add, Create New Transaction Contact, select Buyer, and his first name is Joseph Buyer. We want to make sure that we add in his, his email at this time, josephbuyer at gmail.com. And we want to put in his legal name, Joseph Buyer and his preferred signature Buyer and his initials JB. Well, adding in this information here will make it much easier in a later step. Go ahead and hit save. And I can see I made an error here, so we'll come in here, select this. We can edit it again. And there it is, it's right there. Make sure to make that change. Same thing, just make sure that you do it early on. Later on, it will save and make it much easier. And we want to add in Joseph's wife. So we'll select Add again, just like what we did before. She is also a buyer. Her first name is Mary. Last name, buyer as well. Email address is marybuyer at gmail.com. Legal name, Mary Buyer. Preferred signature, Mary Buyer. Preferred initials, MB. Save. 
Okay, at this stage, it looks like I have everybody in there. My buyers, the sellers, and the realtors are all in here, so that looks good. We'll select next. Now on this forms tab here, since we added that template, all of our forms are automatically loaded. So we're good. We can go ahead and move on to the next page. And these are our documents tab. Documents and forms are very similar to one another. There is a slight difference. Um, the forms are things that are supplied through Florida Realtors and through Transaction Desk. Our documents are broker supplied forms and forms that we need to upload, uh, documents that we need to upload to, to have signatures added later on. Perfect example would be that pre 78. So we'll go ahead and select add. I'm going to drag and drop that file. And there it is, pre 78. So we now we can go ahead and ensure that later on we can get that signed. Select done. That is our final step of the, the wizard. So it's gone ahead and created all the file. And what we want to do is, since this is a purchase document, we want to go ahead and make sure that we can modify that as is contract so that we can get our offer documents and everything in there. To find that, select forms. From forms, we'll see there's our as is contract. When I select that, it will open it up. And it'll take it five, six seconds or so for it to open up. When it opens up here, we can start. And I'm not going to go through the entire thing, but we'll go over some quick items with it. Um, Joseph and Mary Buyer, we want to just add the end symbol there. And then the items that are excluded from the purchase, washer and dryer, we can add that there. Purchase price, let's say it was... 200,000 and they're putting down $2,000 deposit and they're going to get a loan for 96.5 percent. We'll see it automatically calculated there for us. Makes it easy. And we want a response by the 16th and then we want to close uh, at the end of October. So um, we can continue on through the rest of the document but for the most part the adding and editing of it should all be either a drop down or a simple fill in with items. Once we have everything's completed the way that we'd like, well, I'm going to hover over file, select save, save again, and then to exit out of this file, exit. Okay, and then we could just repeat that process for any other document that we need to um, modify to make changes to, whether it's adding a name or um, or adding in a purchase amount or anything like that. So this is a single family home and you'll notice that there are some condo documents that are here. That um, template that we added actually has everything for a single family home and a condo, two very popular things in our area here. So we don't necessarily need these here and we would like to remove them. There's a simple way of doing that. Using this radio button on the right, select that, select this condo, and let's say there's no sinkhole or issue on the property. So we'll take these three items here, take the basket, and then there's a delete button right there. And when we go ahead and delete that, that is actually going to remove all of those items that we selected. And unfortunately, it looks like maybe I made a mistake and I need to add back in that sinkhole document again. Very easy thing to do. Select the add in the top. And we can type in the search item. There it is, sinkhole disclosure. When we select that radio button, adds it to the basket, we just select add. And now if we look on here, we will see it's gone ahead and add the sinkhole disclosure right back there. Oh, great. Okay. So we can just continue on through the rest of them, fill out the rest of the forms and uh, uh, make the changes that you needed to. So now we want to get everything signed because we've completed making the modifications to it. So to do so, I'm going to select this as is contract. And um, let's say we get the um, FHA VA rider here. So as I'm selecting them, they've added it to the basket here. And from that basket, see the options that we have? We want to get this signed. So we use the pen there. That starts our e-sign client, authentic sign. And we'll take us in, through the steps one more time. And in this case, uh, we have two options, sign in line or simul sign. Sign in line means that you set a particular order for them. And let's say you want the, the realtor to sign first and then send it to the first buyer and then the second buyer. 
or simul sign means that everybody receives an email at this exact same time to go ahead and sign off on everything. So this is first come first serve simul sign. I'm going to leave it just like that. Next is the participants. And in this case, it's going to be myself as a remote signer, Joseph Beyer as a remote signer, Mary as a remote signer. And I'm going to add the listing agent and we're going to have him CC'd on everything once it's all been signed. Select Add. And we can see everything here looks pretty good. The selling agent, listing agent, everything looks good. Select Save. And so as we have this, the uh, what's going to happen is that um, the documents are all going to be sent out to William, Joseph, and Mary. They'll then sign off on everything. And once everything's been completed, Everybody will receive an email back, including the listing agent, Russell Adams. Now, if we didn't want to do that and we wanted to remove Russell from receiving an email, it's a very simple thing to do. Just select this X here, and he is no longer included, and he'll be removed. Okay. And once we've completed that and everything's all set the way that we'd like it, select the Next which is our documents, and you'll see here is our as-is contract, and then that FHA VA rider that we were talking about. But we also said that we wanted to get that pre-78 form signed as well. And if you remember before, earlier on, we did download it. So this is the spot where we want to go ahead and add it back in. And to do that, we select add 6219 Gulfport forms and documents. And you can see these are all of our documents that we have here. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see there's our pre-78 form that we went ahead and added. That was the name of it. Select Add. And we can see now they're going to be signed in this particular order. It's all going to be one document, but it's going to sign it as yeah, as is, the FHA VA, and then pre-78. Well, for whatever reason, I'd like to have that pre-78 signed first. So I can go ahead and reorder the documents. And there we are. And once we've completed that, and everything's good, we can then move on to the next thing, and that is our design. And now when we open up the design here, this may take a little while, about 7 to 10 seconds or so, and while it's doing that, what is it is loading all of the documents together. The longer, the more documents that you have, the longer it will take. Um, and uh, it's going to go ahead and put them in order. It's going to load in all the initials, load in all the signatures that are needed. Um, and it will just take another moment or so as it loads up. It looks like it's coming through now. And here we are. Fantastic. Okay. So first things first is I like to start from the top and work my way down. And I can see the first thing that I need here is I need the buyer's names added. So there's an easy way to do that. And go over to Joseph, signer's name, drag and drop. Good. We'll swip, switch over to Mary, signer's name, drag and drop. Great. And the next spot I see, it uh, looks like I need the buyer's initials. So we're going to take Mary. Then we'll switch this back to Joseph and go ahead and add him there. And I can see I need initials over here. So we have Joseph, 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 and we'll switch this over to Mary, collect her initials. And the same thing. And as we move down just a little bit further, we see we have buyer, buyer, and then the selling licensee. So we need a full signature now. And you can see it right here. This is Mary. Add her there. Grab a date and add that there. Then we'll switch back to Joseph. Select his name, select the date, and then the last thing that we need here is the selling licensee. So that would be a signature for myself. Go ahead and switch over, add that, and then add the date. There we go. Okay, and that was our lead based paint. Everything's signed there, so we'll continue on. You can see on the as is contract because it had those yellow tabs on there it's actually gone ahead and added in the buyer's initials where it needs to be on all of our pages here and you can see them there they are again they're there and up there there's another set of them and on our last page it's gone ahead and added in their their full 
full signatures there, and then the dates. And the same thing here on the FHA VA. So everything here looks good to me. I don't see any issues or any problems at all. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to select Next. And this is our final step. We have two options at this point. We can just send it as is, or if we'd like to send out a custom email, uh, we can change the subject and the text that they're going to receive uh, and, and make the changes there. We can put in whatever we'd like. Uh, if you, you have any questions, and then continue on. There is a signature, an automatic signature that will be added, so you don't necessarily need to add your own information, but um, you can give them a, a personal message if you'd like. Select Save, and then select Send Invitations. And once you've done that, the invitations have been sent out to everybody, and you can just sit back and wait for the emails to come in. You'll receive an email every time somebody's opened them, and then another email every time somebody's signed off on them. And as it continues on through and then the final thing that you'll receive is you'll receive a document that says that they've all been finalized and it's all been completed. Well that's it, that's, uh, that's how to do it. Um, as you work your way through it and uh, it's a much much simpler, much easy process and um, now that you have the file open should you need a new document, a new thing, everything's already been loaded in. It's very simple to just add in a document. It will add in the names of them and I'll add in the spot where they need to sign a few seconds later and you can go ahead and send it out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Again, my name is William Levance. I'm with Salewinds Realty. Um, have any questions, feel, leave a comment below. We reach out to us directly. Thanks so much. If this helped you out, be sure to give us a, a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.